Very important that people hear from the both of us. What do we think we should be doing? What advice can we give to the Muslims to make sure that we protect the Iman of the next generation and to counter this rise of irreligiosity and agnosticism and atheism? As far as the rise of atheism rising in the Western country, I disagree with you. It is not only uh, only Western country throughout the world. It is True. rising everywhere in the world, including Gulf countries. You know, where I consider that, you know, the Gulf country, especially Saudi Arabia, it is the heart of Tawheed. I was shocked. It was in 2014. They asked me to give a lecture on atheism. Does God exist? I was shocked. In Saudi Arabia, in Jamit al-Imam, where I consider one of, the, one, of the, one of the best Islamic universities, to give a talk on atheism. And then I realized that the people told me that even in the Gulf countries, leave mm. aside Western countries, leave aside UK, leave aside America, India, even there, there are, and previously, previously, according to me, when, an, when a person from Saudi Arabia or from the Gulf country went to America or went to Western country, the chances that, you know, they would deviate from the deen would be maybe one or two percent. That's it. But mm. nowadays, the chances are more than 25%. Coming back to your question, I, I know that there is a rise, and I've given a talk on this topic, Does God Exist? Where I've proved with, with reason, logic, and science exists, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What I believe that amongst the people who are in the past, you know, there is a section of the, of the guys who, who disagree on answering any question, which, which I don't agree with them. They say, okay, this question, yes, shaitani sawale. This is a, a devil's <laughs> question. So this que this question cannot be asked. You mm. know, so they disagree on answering questions when anyone raises against the Quran. Well, I'm concerned if I find a book which is written against the Quran and a book written in favor of Quran, I will first buy, buy the book written against the Quran to know how are they attacking the Quran. If mm. I don't know how the enemy is attacking the Quran, how as a die can I defend it? So what we realize that many questions like which our younger generation asks, our older generation used to disagree replying, saying that this will take mm. away from the deal, which I disagree. Number one, we should stop saying do not answer questions which are, which are you know, a Satan's question. I said, no, you can answer any question. Yes, a question can be illogical, fine. Yeah. But you cannot say that if it's any question, like someone says, why don't you have pork or anything? If they ask any question, it cannot be a question which cannot be asked. That's a different question that everyone is not specialized in the field of answering the atheist. So one thing is we should encourage questions. Let it be anything under the sun. But everyone is not specialized in replying. Because while if you're not specialized, you may falter and break the principles of Islam while replying. So I know many guys while replying to the non-Muslims, they go overboard and they go against the principles of the Quran. They go against the verse of the 